So today I'm gonna show y'all how to do this effect on eye light motion. It's really simple to understand and yeah, let's get into it. So now select your mask clip, go on move and transform, click on the position button twice and move the anchor at the center of your masked subject. Make sure to hide keyframes every time you want to move it and do this for the full video. Once you're done, just make sure everything looks alright and you'll be good to go. Now we'll mark the parts where we want our clone to pop out, like in the middle will be exactly where they will pop out. At the beginning here, it's where it started and at the end, it's where it's like getting back in shape. So now we can start by duplicating the masked clip and now pick the inferior layer and go on move and transform, go on scale and put your keyframes where you mark your parts like this and go on the middle keyframe and just increase the size of it. Do it a little bit bigger than the original so you can leave a little bit of space for the other clones. Now just add your graph to make it smoother. Now go on effect, add a new effect and select solid color here. And now just pick the color of your choice. For me personally, I'll just match the color of his, of his clothes so we can match the scene better. And just preview it to see if you like it. Now for smoothness, we'll go on blending and opacity. And we will add two keyframes before the start point, like this. The first keyframe will be at 0% and the second keyframe will be at 100. Now do the same for the last point, just like this and the second keyframe will be at 0 this time. So now just duplicate what you've done and just repeat the process with a bigger scale and different colors basically. Just put the scale a little bit bigger than the first one and just change the color. And if you wanna do more layers, you can just redo this the same process over and over again. It never changes. Now, once that you're done, just don't forget to add the motion blur effect on all your layers. Just pick up a new effect, motion blur, standard settings, and play around with it. And do it, do the same for all your layers. So yeah, basically that was it. So I hope the video was useful. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment. It really helps. And yeah, see you next time.